Hello, today I wanted to go over move body, move copy bodies in SolidWorks and it's located right here. I have it on direct editing tab, but you can get to it in your search command. And how it works is you just click on it and it asks you to select a body and it has to be a, these have to be single bodies. So I'll just click on that and I just pull the handles. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only thing is, when you pull them, you can't revolve in the same um, time. You have to get out of the tool and then go back in. So if I try to revolve it, it'll flip back to where it was. See, that's what happens. So I found, well, the way I do it is I just move the body, and I can always move it whatever way I want. But once I rotate it, I'll have to get out of it and then go to move body copy again and uh, then rotate and then I'll have to stop again I'll have to stop again get out of it and then do the move body copy again just like that and you also have um, you also have a option to copy when you move so if we copy, we go like that, and you can put the number of copies you want. So we'll say three plus the one makes four, and they could just be moved like that, and just like that. So that's one part of it. And uh, I'll show you move body copy. And now the next way I want to show you is using a point. So I'm going to go into 3D and I'm going to put a, a point and I'll put my snaps on here and I'm going to snap to the center and say OK. Then I'm going to uh, sketch on this plane. Just put a couple of points. Okay, now the next way the move body copy works is you select the move. We're not going to copy. And then we go into translate. And here you select where you want it to translate from. So that's the point we want it to translate from. And then you select where you want it to translate to. And we want to translate it to here. And we can click to accept that or we can make a copy and we'll accept so that's the move body copy and uh, show you one more instance move body copy and I'll select this and from this time we're gonna select rotate and the point you want to rotate it could be a line it could be an axis so I'm gonna select this line and then all you do is put your degrees in here on how much you want it to rotate. Just like that. So that's that. You could do it it's the same. It just works the same. Select that. Select the line. Select the degrees you want it to rotate. We could type in a number. Just like that, press OK. Um, so that's the move body copy with rotate and linear. And I'll show you how I was I use it in a model I was doing. So I'll go into a window, new, and I'll select this. So in this instance, we're going to move body copy, and um, I want to rotate this so it looks more realistic, like it's hitting the ground not just stand, standing straight up so for that I'll go into um, this surface actually it's a revolve I'll go into this sweep I made and I'll select that and make it visible and so now I'll go into my move body copy and I'll select this and then the rotate point I want to rotate from is here 
and I select that and then I'll just put the degrees here and Z I think yep and then just put it to the degrees I want Oops. and that's it for that and that's how I use the rotate move copy bodies feature in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.